video specifically for Mac users. Um, so if, if you're on an Apple laptop, I suggest you switch to that. Um, it turns out that uh, installing Python and getting everything configured properly is often uh, as hard as programming. And uh, so if you get stuck somewhere in this video, just come to somebody's office hours and we'll help you get set up. So you can see here I'm on Python, uh, this website called python.org. I'm going to come to downloads. And uh, I can also see that it's suggesting uh, the correct version of Python for me. As long as it says Python 3 something, um, it will work for us for this semester. Just make sure it doesn't say Python 2. It needs to be Python 3. So I'm going to click on this. I see that my file just downloaded here. And uh, now I'm going to open this and run the installer. Okay. And uh, so I want to install now, but before I do that, I'm going to check down here. I want to add Python 3.7 uh, to the path. That's an important part of this process. Um, if you if you miss that, you'll have to do some configuration later. Um, so I'm going to hit, say, say install now, and I'll give this a moment. All right, so I finished installing, so I'll hit close. Um, now, so we've installed Python itself, uh, but there are also some other packages that we need to install uh, for some of the things we're going to do this semester at CS301. So I'm going to come down here to the Start menu, and I'm going to open that, and I'm going to type in PowerShell. We're going to have to run some commands in here. Well, let me just... Power. There we go. Excuse me. Okay. And there's a few different PowerShells here. And we want to make sure we get this top one that just says Windows PowerShell. Uh, don't click on one of these other ones, especially the ones that say ISC. So I'm going to click on this. Maybe resize this a little bit. And uh, the first thing I want to do is make sure that Python was installed properly. So I'm going to type something here called PIP, like so. And I see that this prints out a bunch of stuff. If you see something like this, um, that means you're in good shape. Um, PIP is this program that's going to let us install other packages for Python. Okay, and it's pretty simple to use. I can just say PIP space install. And then I'm going to put a bunch of things here. 
uh, and you just don't need to know exactly what's happening right now. You just need to, need to type this exactly on your computer uh, as I'm typing it right now. So the most important thing is uh, Jupiter. So notice the spelling. And then I want something called NumPy. I want something called Requests. And I want something called Matplotlib. Okay? So I typed all that, and I'm going to hit Enter. And this is going to take a little while. <coughs> It's installing all these extra packages that we're going to use this semester.
All right, so that finished installing, and I can tell that because it went back uh, to saying PS here, which stands for PowerShell, and I see that blinking icon. So the next thing I want to try <coughs> is uh, to open something called a notebook. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to type Jupyter space notebook, and then I'm going to press enter. And if this works properly, what it's going to do is it's going to open up a page in my web browser um, where I can start writing Python code. Okay, so now I see that my uh, environment is set up properly. Um, 